What's going on YouTube? This is Taco and I got a gameplay for you here today. A little bit of Team Deathmatch on Fallen. Uh, this is going to be the first video in a series for me. It's going to be called the uh, Beginner Series. And my first video is going to be sniping. Now let me start off by saying I'm not the best sniper in the world. Uh, I'm not Zerg Grizz. I'm not Optic Taco. So you're not going to see me quick scoping. You're not going to see me making amazing shots, 360 shots, uh, montage type shit. But I do know a lot of the basics of sniping, and uh, I'm capable of getting pretty good gameplays. Nothing really stellar, but I'll just say this. I know how to, uh, how to get solid games. I know how to snipe to where I can have fun and not just get ass raped while using a sniper. So that's what I'm going to let you guys know here today. I'm going to let you know the basic tips on what you need to do to get your snipe on. All right, so it really doesn't matter which sniper you use. All of them are pretty solid except for the Dragon Off. And right here, I pick up a nice three-man kill feed. Tell your friends, get some, bitch. Okay, uh, my secondary that I'm using is an Akimbo MP9, as you can see right there. Any one of the machine pistols akimboed is going to be what you want to use. Having a pistol, I know you can pull a single pistol out faster, but it doesn't matter. You want to have something that is going to guarantee you kill somebody up close, and that's what the akimbo weapons can do for you. Um... I'm using sleight of hand. To me, that's a must because I want to be able to swap out to my secondary as quick as I can and still have a good weapon. So I'm always going with sleight of hand as my first perk every time. Second perk that I'm going to use is Hardline Pro. Now, you can use Assassin. Assassin is good, but for the way that I'm going to be playing, I'm, and generally I'm going to hold up one quadrant of the map, and I'm not going to leave that area. I'm not just going to camp and watch one sight line and hold up in a corner like a bitch. I'm going to stay in one section of the map and watch multiple sight lines. Have two or three different lines of sight that I can at least look for people and where they're at. Not just focused on one, one area, getting tunnel vision and getting shit on from the side or from the back, whatever. And uh, stuns, flashes, it really doesn't matter what you use. I prefer stuns because where flashes will blow up in midair, stuns, they will not blow up until they hit something. So you can get longer distances with your stuns and Claymores, Bouncing Bettys, Semtex, it really doesn't matter. It's kind of just whatever you feel comfortable with. Same thing with which sniper you want to use. If you're comfortable using the, the Dragon Off, then by all means, go ahead and use it. I wouldn't recommend it because it's a piece of shit. But it doesn't matter which one. I like the L118 personally because I can move quicker. It's lightweight, so your mobility is a lot higher. And as you can see right here, what I'm doing is I'm looking in the usual spots. Now, the usual spots, when I say that, I mean buildings that people usually go to camp into and watch areas. Two stories, windows, uh, places that overlook the map. That's where you want to be looking. You want to outsnipe the snipers. And then after you kill them two or three times, they're going to run to you. And eventually the spawn will flip like it has here. And see what I do here? I leave that asshole in last stand and pick off the guy that's the main threat to me. Which sometimes the guy in last stand can be the guy that's the main threat to you. But I went for it. It was just a natural reaction to go to the guy that's still running. So once the spawn flips, that's good. Because you're going to get more people coming after you. And that's why I don't bother using Assassin Pro. Because I want people to know where I'm at. And for the most part, after you kill two or three people, they're going to know where you're at and they're going to come to you anyways. It don't matter what the fuck perk you're using. Assassin Pro, it don't matter. They're going to come try to get you. Uh, as far as which kill streaks you use, that really doesn't matter either. That's kind of personal choice, whatever you feel like using. Um, in this video, I'm using Predator Missile, Reaper, and the Pavlo. And as you can see, my kill streaks really don't do jack shit because everybody in this lobby just felt like shooting down air support, which really sucks. So if you felt more comfortable going with a UAV Predator Missile uh, attack helicopter, that'd be good too. I would always recommend running the Predator Missile because to me that's just about a guaranteed kill every time. Sometimes two or three. It's probably, in my opinion, it's one of the best kill streaks in the game, if not the best. Uh, when you're running hardline, it's only four kills till you get it, and it builds up towards your higher kill streaks. So that's what I would go with. Three, five, seven would work. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with. And as far as using the specialist when you're sniping, now look, if you're going to run around and you want to quick scope people and do all that shit, go for it. But that's not me. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm not that good of a sniper, so I'm not going to use it. And I don't see any benefit for me to be using uh, the specialist to get all those extra perks and all that bullshit, all the proficiencies, when I really don't need it. 
you know, the assault kill streaks are going to help me a lot more in the long run to get a better game and where I'm having a good KD and having fun and raping people. That's my goal. You know, that's what I want to do. I don't want to run around next stupid and go 12 and fucking 20 because that's what's going to happen if I run around with a sniper. I just ain't that good. And right here, as you can see, I make the best of my secondary. I seen this guy was coming and I could have took a shot on him with my sniper, but the smart thing to do there is switch to your secondary, an up close situation and take him out that way. Now, like I said, if you're good at quick scoping, sure, go ahead and give it a shot. But me, I know better and I'm not going to do it. Here's another situation where I know that it's just best for me to go ahead and pull out my secondary. And here, I don't know, I switched out weapons the wrong way, but I got the uh, ump back. So, And right here, the spawn switch switches on me, and I didn't really pay attention to it. And so I end up getting pounded right here. But uh, you always want to pick up a secondary. If you, if you see a, a good secondary land on the ground, pick it up because... I mean, you're going to need it for short to mid-range shots if you're not quick scoping or whatever. And there I try to no scope. I have no idea why. But I get this guy, and I see there's like 12 dots over here, and I got no more ammo in my ump, so I get quick scoped by this fag. But that's pretty much the game, and that's how I snipe. I mean, you could call it defensive play. You could call it camping. You could call it whatever. But uh, I like to call it successful and uh, having fun. I mean. But anyway, I, uh, I recommend you guys try this setup out. See if you guys like it. See if you have fun. See if you do good. Uh, see if you get some good games. I think you will. If you try it and give it a good shot, I think you'll do all right. So this is Taco, and my final score is 32-5. and five. You guys take care.